Well, I've gone and done something a little crazy. I have this nice aggro bright um, grow light that I have above my snapping turtles um, 300 gallon stock tank. And one day I was thinking, you know what? I could like make a platform on top of it to put plants on and get some plants growing before we start a garden in the, in the spring. I was like, you know what? That might be fun to grow some plants on my sapping turtle tank. And so I made this nice base to um, put the plants on top of. And after staring at the base for a while, I was like, you know what? That would make an awesome um, dock for my turtle so she can climb up on there and bask. And I was just thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I used to have this really awesome setup for this turtle back when she was in a 125 gallon aquarium. Like it was really naturalistic. I had all these um, logs in there and rocks. I even made this little cave for her and there's all these plants growing in there and it just looked awesome. It looked so naturalistic and she just looked happy in there and it was something that was exciting to me. And then I bought this 300 gallon stock tank um, to put her in and while it gave her a lot of space it kind of became boring and i just really haven't been really haven't been excited about this tank since i set it up it just hasn't turned out the way i wanted it to and it's, it's a little harder when you have a stock tank you know i was used to aquariums and this is more like an indoor pond and well i'm just kind of thinking out of the box now actually i'm building a box but thinking out of the box Anyway, <laughs> here it is. Yeah, it's, it's getting a little crazy. So like I said, I just made this tray. You see the bottom is what I built first. Just to put some plants in. And I was like, you know what? If I put plywood walls, then she wouldn't be able to crawl out and hurt herself. Um, but then I can just clamp a uh, heat lamp on right here. And she'll have this nice dry area to crawl up onto and it effectively increases the size of the of the tank by a lot um there she is down there she's like why have you rearranged everything in my tank i don't like this yeah i know it's always it's always hard when we're transitioning changing things up and she gets kind of grumpy about it but there it is so far um this was going all the way across and i just cut out this section and I have a bunch of logs. I'm thinking about making the ramp out of logs and just uh, uh, screwing them into the plywood there and anchoring them down with a rock so they go down um, to the bottom all the way. But I made this so she can't, uh, when she's climbing up the ramp, she can't get up over this edge there and hurt herself. Um, but I'm going to be using Flex Seal. Let's see, I got this white Flex Seal. This is going to go on the bottom to make sure the wood doesn't get all waterlogged and nasty and get all moldy. And I'm also going to paint the top with the flex seal as well, maybe up an inch or two on the walls. And then the rest of the wood I'm just going to stain. Um, I got this poly stain here, so it's got the polyurethane in it too. Anyway, um, I'm about to sand it, sand it a bunch to take off the rough edges, and then I'm going to get to painting and staining it. Um, but it's also going to put a nice little area back here to have my filter under. So it's just going to do a lot of things for this tank, and I think it's really going to upgrade this, this enclosure for it. So I'm, I'm really excited about it. Excited to see what happens with this, so here we go. So I have three sheets of plywood here instead of one because I reused scrap plywood from when I was making my snake racks. And so I've got two gaps in there. I just filled it in with silicone to make sure that turdy wouldn't be dripping any water down through onto my carpet. And I also just siliconed all the way around the inside and I even went up the beam there I didn't need to go all the way to the top but it just it just looks better when you go all the way you know none of this halfway stuff so 
got the flex seal on the deck so it's waterproof and we got the flex seal underneath so it's waterproof underneath as well so when the water is evaporating and you know beating up on here it's not gonna rot and get all gross and I got the whole thing stained just because I wanted to be fancy like that and as soon as it's done curing it's gonna go on to snapper tank and then we're going to figure out a ramp. I think I'm going to put a bunch of um, driftwood together and kind of make kind of a natural looking ramp going up there. It's going to be fun. Well, slowly but surely we're making some progress here. I just got our other filter set up. Now I am having a little bit of a leaking problem here, which is unfortunate. It doesn't appear to be leaking from the uh, o-ring seal around it so I'm not quite sure where that's coming from but like I said before it's kind of cheap Chinese filter so what can you expect but anyway it's full of lava rock and um, polyfill so it's does a good job cleaning the water although <laughs> the water looks bad right now that's because I just set up that new filter and it hasn't cycled yet so it was running on just that one filter but wasn't really taking the gunk out of the water i know this one will now that it's running again but anyway i got some of these pothos vines hooked up to all the intake tubes hopefully i can make a little jungle here hopefully they start growing a little better um, but we've got our turtle dock here and now i need to make a ramp for it i was thinking about using all these sticks but now I'm thinking Jade is going to help me make a PVC ramp. So we just have four elbows and two T's. So we're going to make a little ramp and I just got um, this dog fence. It's plastic. It's got kind of big holes so um, Turdy should be able to walk up it really easy without getting her claws stuck in here. Um, it was only like 15 bucks from Fleet Farm. So we've got that, and we're going to make a PVC frame, wrap this around it, and then I'm going to screw it into the wood right there, and we'll see how it works. All right, here's the PVC frame. Now we're going to cut a section of this off and wrap it around, then we're going to zip tie it, and then we're going to attach it to the dock. It's going to be awesome. Well, that's how it turned out. Should be good enough here. Kind of wish it was a little more taut. Yeah. But uh, I guess I could have made more cross beams. But I think she should be able to crawl up this no problem. So now we just have to attach it to the dock. Well, here it is the finished product I decided to get a little fancy and zip tie some sticks onto the ramp just to make it look I don't know I think it looks kind of cool I mean it doesn't really serve any function other than it looks kind of neat so I like it but I tell you what, after getting this other filter, you know, both these, these filters set up, the water is looking great. It's kind of hard to see with the glare from the light. It is super clear now. And Turdy loves hanging out underneath the ramp here. Whoa! Oh! These sucker minnows I put in here have just been like going crazy in the in the water right here. They come up and they splash really loud. It startled me. Yeah, she loves hanging out under there, and it's it's fun to watch her because she's been prowling around, poking around under these rocks, trying to catch these sucker minnows. So it's been giving her some some enrichment. I mean, ever since I set this up and kind of increased the water level. She has been way more active. She's been cruising around. And uh, she just seems like a happier turtle now. 
I think she's climbed up in there once when I wasn't here, but I haven't actually seen her do it yet. And honestly, I'm not that surprised. Um, how she is with basking is she'll, I don't know, um, she'll start using her basking platform, at least the old one. She, all of a sudden I'd see her on there and then she'd be on it for a long time. And maybe for like a stretch of a, of a week or so, I'd see her coming out of the water. And then I wouldn't see her use it again for months. So that's kind of how she is. She, she has periods of time where she likes to bask a lot, but then long stretches of time where she doesn't. So oh, I'm hoping she'll use it. Um, I mean, I think it's cool. And even if she hardly ever uses it, I, I still like it. And uh, I think it's good to give her that option at least. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's, I, I don't know, this, this tank is finally coming together. I need to add more plants, but I've had problems with plants dying. Um, so I don't know, I don't know why my, uh, water lettuce kicked off on me. But maybe I should try some duckweed, get that going again. Maybe some hornwort, some coontail. That would be good too. Just have to try and get something that doesn't clog up the uh, the filters, the intake. It's really really annoying to have to keep cleaning out the intake all the time when plants clog it up. But man, I'm feeling good about this now. You know, like I was saying before, once I switched to this stock tank, um, it just got it got a lot less interesting. I didn't know exactly what to do with it and. I think it's finally starting to turn into something that, that I like again. So I think with more plants, it's just going to be awesome. And, and uh, it's, it's really usable for her. She's got plenty of room to come around over here and swim around this side, go up the ramp. But uh, she really likes hiding, hiding under it. So if anything, I gave her a new hide, I guess. And, <laughs> and uh, she likes it. So... Um, next video, I think I'm going to get into some hognose stuff. I have a lot of hognose snakes now, and I haven't done nearly enough videos on them, so stay tuned for that. But, yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe, and there's a lot more to come. Thanks a lot.